the top 8 ways to boost dopamine, also known as the motivation hormone. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter made by your brain that helps you to feel motivated, focused and productive. It's involved with movement, helping you to remember things, preventing neurological diseases and feeling pleasure. Unfortunately, many people suffer from low levels of dopamine and this can cause you to feel tired, unmotivated and unable to feel rewarded for finishing a task. People with a dopamine imbalance also tend to have mood swings which range from anxiety to depressive feelings. They find themselves reaching for coffee and energy drinks to give them energy and motivation to get through the day since they have less zest for life. Low dopamine also causes you to have trouble remembering things with a short attention span. In more extreme cases, you may notice your hands shaking with tremors since dopamine is involved with motor control and you may have trouble sticking to a sleep schedule because your brain chemicals are all out of balance. Fortunately, there are some very simple and natural ways to boost and normalise your dopamine levels to overcome these issues. And these are exactly what we'll be talking about in today's video. Remember that this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any medical or mental health concerns. Remedy number one is tyrosine. If you wish, you can take a supplement containing 500 milligrams of L-tyrosine three times per day to improve the health of your brain. Tyrosine crosses the blood-brain barrier and it's then converted into the motivation hormone called dopamine and also epinephrine. By boosting dopamine, tyrosine helps to revive your motivation, it makes you feel happier and more likely to get things done. It also helps you to work better under any kind of stress, overcome depression and improve concentration and mood for those with ADHD or ADD. People often find that they become more creative and better able to execute ideas when they're taking this supplement and they tend to remember their dreams better. As a side note, try to take your tyrosine away from your meal times since other amino acids from food can compete for its absorption. Number two is reduce screen time. One of the main reasons that people are low in dopamine nowadays is because they have something called dopamine burnout. You see, when you're endlessly doom scrolling through social media, you're checking your phone or your notifications, you get a little dopamine spike each time you do this. Eventually these things no longer make you feel happy or rewarded so you become burnt out and this can lead to anxiety, depression and procrastination. One of the simple ways to bring dopamine levels back up to normal is to stop using social media and cell phones after dinner in the evening. Start to retrain your brain to release dopamine for real activities such as family time, reading, exercising, listening to music or walking in nature. Please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. 3. Outdoor Exercise Physical activity, especially outside, is one of the most effective ways to boost dopamine levels. When you start exercising, your brain will create new brain cell receptors for dopamine by increasing neuroplasticity. Essentially, this helps your brain to make and use more dopamine in order to bring your energy levels up, your mood and your zest for life. Exercise also helps your brain to absorb more of the tyrosine that we discussed earlier to bring up your dopamine levels. I recommend going out for long gentle walks, doing gardening, practicing sports, swimming, biking etc. Also, exposing your skin to sunlight boosts vitamin D levels which helps your body convert the tyrosine into dopamine. I've noticed that when I sit outside and relax in the sun, I tend to get more creative ideas as I have the ability to think more clearly. 4. Vitamin B5 and B6 Raise your vitamin B5 and B6 levels to further help your brain convert L-DOPA into dopamine and to increase energy production of the neurons. One of the easiest ways to do this is by simply eating wild salmon at least three times per week 
or using three tablespoons of nutritional yeast per day. Certain medications can also deplete your B vitamins, which causes your mood to become unstable and your neurotransmitters out of balance. Getting more B vitamins, however, helps to restore dopamine balance along with serotonin, acetylcholine, epinephrine and GABA, amongst others. Number 5 is a pre-formulated supplement called MindLab Pro. When it comes to balancing the chemistry of the brain and boosting brain health, there are many different supplements available. In my other brain health videos, I talk about adaptogens like rhodiola and lion's mane, along with B vitamins, choline and many others, so I can understand it may be confusing on which supplement would be best to take when it comes to supporting the overall function of your brain. Recently, I've been using a pre-formulated supplement called MindLab Pro, which contains a unique blend of ingredients that support the brain in its entirety. This supplement is backed up by clinical studies and has been shown to improve focus, memory, mood, energy, motivation and longevity. The daily dosage of this is 2-4 to four capsules, which works very quickly in boosting cognitive function and I'll put a link down below to this. The sixth way to boost dopamine is by using antioxidants. Did you know that your brain is only 2% of your body weight, but it uses up an enormous 20% of your body's total energy when it's resting? This means that it's burning a lot of oxygen and glucose for thinking, forming memories and controlling your body and nervous system. Unfortunately, this fuel burning process gives off byproducts such as ROS, which can cause oxidative stress and inflammation in the brain, lowering your dopamine. This is why you need to be eating lots of antioxidants in your diet, for they prevent the brain from becoming damaged and weaker as you get older. To do this, start eating more raw fruits and vegetables rich in vitamin C, such as berries, sauerkraut, cabbage, arugula, peppers and lemons. I also recommend eating some shellfish once per week, as these will supply omega-3s, copper and zinc, which can also boost your dopamine. If you wanted to take this to the next level, as I know many of you do, red krill oil is also excellent as it contains red coloured astaxanthin, an antioxidant which is 6000 times stronger than vitamin C. By the way, if you try some of these methods out, I'd love it if you could come back and drop me a comment. I love to hear how you're all getting on and doing well with your health. Moving on now to number 7, stop snacking. When you snack frequently through the day, you continuously raise a hormone called insulin which helps to keep your blood sugars under control. However, snacking for years and years causes insulin resistance and this down regulates dopamine receptors in your brain cells so that it stops working as it should. So it's recommended to stop snacking and eat two solid meals per day, adding lots of healthy nutritious vegetables, animal proteins and fats to normalise your neurotransmitters. Doing this will help to keep your dopamine in the right levels and make sure that it works as it should. 8. Managing your stress Whenever you feel stressed out or anxious, your adrenal glands release a hormone called cortisol as part of the fight or flight response. Cortisol can deplete dopamine and reduce the sensitivity of dopamine receptors, making you feel very burnt out, tired and lifeless. So start taking some important steps to manage your stress by getting more sleep and practicing deep breathing exercises. Cut back on caffeinated drinks like coffee, tea, soda and energy drinks and start using stress relieving herbal teas like passionflower or lemon balm to lower your cortisol. You can also use the pre-formulated brain health supplement that I recommended earlier which contains a powerful adaptogen called rhodiola. Overcoming addictions one of the main issues with dopamine is that people become addicted to substances like caffeine, drugs or medication and these burn out the dopamine receptors in your brain so you become less sensitive to its feel good motivational effect. To get these dopamine receptors working again, quit the addictive substances and over time your brain will readjust. 
A supplement called N-acetylcysteine helps to quickly reduce cravings and dopamine addictions along with B vitamins to help you get back to normal if you need them. So for a quick summary here's the 8 things that you can do to boost dopamine and dopamine receptors. Take 500mg of L-tyrosine 3 times per day away from meals. Reduce screen time to overcome dopamine burnout. Exercise outdoors and in sunlight as much as possible. Eat salmon or nutritional yeast to boost vitamin B5 and B6 levels. Use a pre-formulated brain supplement called Mind Lab Pro daily. Increase antioxidant levels to lower neuroinflammation. Stop snacking to help your brain accept more nutrients like tyrosine which builds dopamine. Manage your stress by getting more sleep, deep breathing exercises or using lemon balm tea. And also N-acetylcysteine can help to overcome addictions and reverse dopamine burnout. If you'd like to learn more about vitamins that boost blood circulation to your brain, go ahead and tap on the video that I've put on the screen now. Thanks so much for watching another of my videos. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.